hello, hello, Facebook world. What is up? I'm back. <laughs> Internet went out. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. So we're going to continue on with the seafood recipe. Okay. <laughs> so when you pop on this live, you can drop me a one. If you watch the replay, you drop me a five. And if you're new to my crazy little show, you put new in the comments. Okay. Um, and again, if you're new and you like this recipe, what you can do is hit my head. There's going to be three little dots that come up. And you're going to click on it, go follow, see first, and you'll never miss one of my videos. On this page, I do do a lot of cooking um, that is family friendly, okay? So, um, it's, um, you know, because my two-year-old and my three-year-old are both keto, low-carb. I'm keto, low-carb. My husband's lo keto, low-carb. So, we eat. It's all family friendly meals and a lot of it's kid approved, okay? So, we're going to get right into um, this recipe again. So, um, what I did um before the internet shut off okay is <laughs> is i got the zucchini noodles in the bowl they are steamed they're made from zucchinis like fresh zucchinis okay i put half a cup of heavy cream in here and then half a cup of cream cheese and that's what's in here right now okay so that's what happened before this video cut out um before this video cut out um and um we'll just go from there does that make does that sound good to everyone does that sound good to everyone so right now um currently my oven is being preheated um is being um preheated to uh um 350 um and uh when it goes off we'll get this in there okay so right so preheat your oven to 350 and then we'll continue on so with casseroles what i like to do is i like to put everything in a bowl okay um and again if you want the alfredo sauce recipe just put recipe in the comments and i'll get it to you um because that's basically the only thing that has a recipe because everything is just kind of like let's just add this together <laughs> does that make sense okay so now i have a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and we're gonna add it to there too okay so we are gonna just sprinkle it on like this and we're gonna get this all like mm -hmm. kind of like broken apart here all right um then we're gonna mix it all together okay so this is kind of making our cheese sauce mm -hmm. right now okay our cheesy alfredo sauce okay that's what this is doing. Oh, just getting zucchini noodles everywhere. <laughs> okay. So here we go. It's all kind of mixed together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spices in and then I'm going to put the shrimp in. Okay. So <coughs> I have, we like putting garlic powder in. All right. So we're going to put some garlic powder in. I'm going to put some Italian spice in. Okay. And then, of course, because we're keto, we're going to put some pink Himalayan spice in, okay? So you want to have electrolytes in everything you cook, right? So your electrolytes. So you never have any problem with your electrolytes. Okay. And we're going to mix that all in. And we're going to put the shrimp in. So this is a whole bag of shrimp I have. I took the tails off, cleaned them all up, all that good stuff. And we're going to just add it right in. Right in, okay? Now, for this recipe, I'm adding shrimp, right? But you can add, like, scallops or, like, any kind of fish fillet in here chopped up, right? Hey, Joanne, how's it going? Right? So you don't have to just add the, um, the shrimp to it. You can just... You can, mm -hmm. um... Add whatever you like, whatever seafood you like, okay? You can go crazy and add some octopus <laughs> if you want. Like, I've done this with lobster. I've done this with crab. Um, we do like our seafood in this house, okay? So there we go. So here we go. We're all basically all. There we go. Let's do one more big turn up here. This shrimp right now okay so now it's all mixed together and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the casserole pan now okay um i'm doing good how are you how are you doing okay so i have i don't own a casserole pan 
say that could be on my birthday wish, I guess. I don't know. My birthday list. Um, and we're going to put it in the cake pan I have or casserole pan if you have it. Okay, so we're going to pour it in. that goodness out of it. Okay, so everything is in the pan here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spray that, okay? Then I'll show you what it looks like um, before I add the stuff on top, okay? So we're going to spray out these noodles here. Do. We're going to try and make it as even as possible. Okay. Now when I do this, um, I like to cut the noodles in half. Okay, so it's easier to uh, mix everything together. Because um, you know when you have the twister thing, if you just keep twisting, they're long noodles, right? So twist a little bit, then take the zucchini out, and that makes shorter noodles, right? So you do that. So when you make casseroles like this, it's like so much easier to... Um, Make sure everything's even, and um, everything's mixed up real good. Mixed up real good. So I did add heavy whipping cream um, to this, okay? It is going to give you that little extra fat, but what it normally does is it sits along the bottom, okay? So when you put this in, what it's going to do is start bubbling and cooking the, the, the zucchini noodles. Um, so they're nice and boiled, so they're not as hard. Does that make sense? Okay, because anyone have like um, zucchini lasagna and stuff like that, and the and the zucchini is still hard. This kind of prevents that from happening. Okay, or if you make pasta with them and they're still a little bit hard, so this kind of like prevents that. So um, so I'm myself to go. So they cook a lot easier and better. Okay. Um. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the toppings, okay? So the toppings I have here uh, for this will be, of course, mozzarella cheese. We're going to put some on top, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like before I go, like, really crazy, but putting toppings on top. And, of course... Um, all you guys who are watching who are new, I always put the end result in the pictures, the comments below. Okay, I take a picture of it, okay? So there's what it looks like right now, okay? And we're going to add some Parmesan cheese now. Get some Parmesan cheese up in here. Okay, and then we're going to add some Italian spice on top. Okay, and then some pink Himalayan salt, okay? You never have too much of that in your feet, though. <laughs> okay, now you're going to stick it in the oven. You're going to stick it in the oven, um, depending on how your oven cooks, from 25 to 35 minutes. Okay, basically until the cheese is nice and crispy on top, so it's got, like, not like melted in, but there's like a little bit of brownness to them, to it, okay? That's when you take it out and then you serve it. Serve it right up. So it's like, um, it's almost like mac and cheese in a pan. This is, uh, shrimp alfredo in a pan. I, know, I used to do this all the time with noodles when, um, it wasn't keto, right? You just get uh, some noodles and some alfredo sauce with some shrimp and it was like fantastic, okay? <laughs> So if you like that recipe and you want the recipe for the alfredo sauce, just put recipe in the comments. I'll get you the alfredo sauce recipe because that's the only thing that really had 
a recipe to it. Everything else was kind of put together in bulk, right? Um, and then um, if you like this, what you can do and you're new to me, you can hit my face. There's going to be three little dots there. You click on it, go follow C first. You'll never miss one of my videos. I do do a lot of cooking, which is family friendly and kid approved most of the time. Because uh, as you can hear, I got two little ones. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I do appreciate you guys um, hopping on. And those of you who were at the previous video, hopping on again. <laughs> because the internet sucks here. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay? Bye, guys.